He also developed design procedures for establishing continuity in precast, pre-tensioned concrete members by using mild reinforcing steel. Further west, George C. Hansen, a structural engineer with Phillips Carter Osborne in Denver, contributed design criteria for precast, pre-stressed members, from fabrication to construction applications. He also developed load tables and brochures for pre-stressed members. Over the years, continued advances in pre-stressed concrete led to the need for a central organization to unify and advance the industry. An early informal association was created among the first pre-stressing companies. Ultimately, six Florida manufacturers joined to form the Pre-Stressed Concrete Institute on June 18, 1954. Those six companies were Cone Brothers, R.H. Wright & Company, Durastress, West Coast Shell Corporation, Lakeland Engineering Associates, and Lakeland Concrete. They created six classes of members, active for pre-stressed companies, associate for related businesses, professional for architects and engineers, junior for professionals in training, student for those in architectural and engineering colleges, and honorary as designated by the board. Right from the start, PCI's founders recognized they weren't creating just another trade association. PCI would be an organization directed by the active participation of professional engineers. This unique combination of producers, suppliers, and professionals nurtured the growth and vitality of the pre-stressed concrete industry and led it to become what it is today. Douglas P. Cohn was elected PCI's first president. George Ford served as vice president, while Harry Edwards was named secretary treasurer. These men, along with the organization's directors, established four objectives for PCI. One, develop standard specifications for pretension products for designers and engineers. Two, conduct full-scale fire tests of roof and floor slab products. Three, develop and promote the standardization of beam sections for bridges and four, produce a technical journal and newsletter. These goals were quickly achieved. PCI released its first industry standard, specifications for pretension bonded pre-stressed concrete products on November 7, 1954. As progress continued, the group held its first annual convention at the Lago Mar Hotel in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on April 21st and 22nd, 1955. More than 300 engineers, designers, contractors, and producers attended. In 1955, PC Items debuted as a monthly periodical. It was followed in May 1956 by the quarterly PCI Journal. Now a bi-monthly, it remains one of the premier communication vehicles of the precast concrete industry. On September 1, 1956, PCI created a permanent headquarters staff when Colonel Martin P. Korn, a former consulting engineer, was appointed PCI Executive Secretary. The organization opened its temporary headquarters in Boca Raton, Florida. Three years later, the Florida Pre-Stress Concrete Association was formed to promote the material locally. PCI headquarters moved to Chicago in December 1959, where it remains today. But while the headquarters has remained in one place, the industry has moved ahead with breathtaking speed. Today, architects and engineers continue to advance the industry's capabilities using new technologies and ideas to stretch design parameters. Recent advances include breakthroughs in seismic techniques that will expand the uses of precast concrete nationwide. Ultra-high performance concrete that will expand the durability of precast concrete to 30,000 PSI and beyond. Self-consolidating concrete that will produce higher strength faster production and better aesthetics for all types of projects. And all precast bridges with beams, deck slabs, pier caps and columns. These components can be used to replace bridges on rapid schedules. Where will precast concrete take the construction industry in the next 50 years? The answer lies in the dreams of today's architects, engineers, producers and suppliers as they continue to stretch the boundaries. Their work will be nurtured and strengthened by the encouragement, promotion, resources, and expertise of the precast, pre-stressed Concrete Institute. After 50 years, 
The best is yet to come, and it begins today.